Hello my subscribers, sorry I've not been on for a while but I was just making a video for a friend of mine who, uh, well one of my subscribers who's having a birthday on Saturday the 8th and um, I had a glass of wine so I've got a bit of Dutch courage and thought I'd make another video. Um, just to let you know what's been happening um, the last couple of weeks uh, as you know, I live in Germany and uh, str struggling very hard here to learn the language and get a job. Last week I finished my second, or well, they call it practicum here, but it was my second uh, stint at working in a nursing home for free. Uh, when I first came here about two and a half years ago, I worked for four months and they never paid me and uh, I took that company to court and uh, they now are redundant and then um, uh, six months ago I applied to many places for jobs but my German uh, wasn't very good so the government here decided that it would be good for me to work in a nursing home so that I can learn the language quicker and also learn uh, the medical words so I did three weeks uh, full-time work, so Saturday, Sunday, Monday and Tuesday, plus on Wednesday, Thursday and Friday I went to school. So that three weeks was really hard for me, and but I got over it, I managed it. And um, unfortunately before I started that practicum uh, there was a hint or um, um, a sort of promise that I would get paid work after that. Anyway, at the end of the three weeks, I had a, another meeting, and unfortunately, the boss said no. Um, oh, in German, it's wir brauchen, wir brauchen Sie nicht mehr. So yeah, they didn't need me anymore, uh, and I was very disappointed. Shed a few tears. I really need some money. So I went off and continued back to school, and then the government wrote me another letter and said, "Oh, I've got another chance at working at that same place for free." but with more a definite promise of work afterwards. So I did another uh, 12 shifts there over a period of uh, six weeks. I did two days a week, Monday and Tuesday, and went to school Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, so I had the weekends off. Last week was my last day of that stint, and again, the chef, or the boss said, or the chef in the boss said, oh, we don't need you. So it seems to me that all they want here is for me to work for free. And uh, that's not good. I need the money. And besides that, it is not good for my, um, my uh, self-esteem. You know, like, what's wrong with me? Or how come I'm good enough to work in a nursing home full time or even you know eight hours a day I was washing people giving them food communicating with them speaking to them in German speaking to the workers in German making beds I worked as a helper I, I can't work as a registered nurse here yet until I have a Deutsch uh, German certificate to prove that I'm competent in the language so it was very disappointing so yeah I still haven't got any paid work so the next thing that I need to do is uh, in January I have a t German test, they call it a Prüfung, and as long as I bestay in that or pass that test, kind Deutsch Fallen, um, then I will have a German certificate along with uh, a letter that came from the nurses board here to say that once I have the German certificate, I can work as a qualified nurse. So hopefully next year, January, February, things will be better, my German will be better and I'll actually start earning money. Next week I have um, a, an appointment or a term in with, with the, uh, sorry, I think in German and English and I basically speak English now, but uh, I have a, a term in next week or appointment and uh, I want to know from my boss why can I work with her for uh, 12 weeks the first time or three weeks full time and again 
12 weeks over six weeks or 12 shifts over six weeks why can I work so much for them and work so hard for them and yet not be good enough to earn money so yeah I need her to tell me what's wrong do is it just that they want me to work free or is it something that I've done is it something that is not right and also I've asked her to give me um, a letter or they call it a zoignus to say that I actually did work for them so that it helps me uh, in my resume or my beverbal um, for future work so I thought I'd let you know what's happening. I'm trying to keep positive about everything. My German is getting better, although my Aussprache is nick rectic or richtig. Um, I'm getting there. Uh, I really need to speak more German. I speak a lot of English here, and when my boyfriend's here, he is a German man, but we always speak English because it takes a lot for me to explain to him in German what I'm trying to say, and uh, he. Yeah, I don't know. It's easier for me to speak in English. I shouldn't be making excuses. So, that's what's happening with me. Um, I'll let you know in January, February. Hopefully I will pass the test and life will be much better. But until then, I just thought I'd give you this update. Oh, and also, uh, if you watch my other video, I'm not sure when I'm going to post it. But uh, Megan, or Jewel Chick, is having a birthday on Saturday the 8th of December. And she's a fantastic lady. I'd love you all to look at her and, and, and watch her videos. And she invites people to join this 100-day challenge. I talked about it once before, and it's really inspirational. And it's really good to get you motivated, think positive, and... Um, yeah, come on guys, you know, if I can still be positive after all of the stuff that I've been through, you know, moving from Australia to Germany, learning a new language, applying for jobs in a different language, I'm sure nothing is impossible. Okay, yeah, cheers. Um, I'll finish off this nice drop of Australian wine that I bought for uh, Megan's birthday. It's going down very well. I'll probably be asleep in about an hour. Okay, guys. See you later. Bye for now.